Peace and stability are key ingredients for any nation to achieve its social and developmental goals. And this is reinforced in our Agenda 2063, which envisions a peaceful and secure Africa as a foundation for meeting Africa's long-term sustainable growth and development. The Peace and Security Department is responsible for implementing the African Union's activities related to promoting peace, security, and stability across the continent and comprises five divisions. Conflict Prevention and Early Warning Division Crisis Management and Post-Conflict Reconstruction Peace Support Operations Defense and Security Division Peace and Security Council Secretariat through these divisions, the Department of Peace and Security works to deliver its core objectives of implementing the Common African Defense and Security Policy, operationalizing the African Peace and Security Architecture, supporting efforts to prevent, manage, and resolve conflicts, promoting programs for the structural prevention of conflicts, including through the African Union Border Program, implementing the AU's policy framework on post-conflict reconstruction and development, coordinating, harmonizing and promoting peace and security programs in Africa. The importance of prevention, which is always less costly than dealing with uh, a crisis uh, in terms of human lives, in terms of destructions, in terms of uh, instability in the uh, in the neighboring countries. When it comes to the uh, the prevention of conflicts, I think here we have to recall a very wise and pertinent decision taken by our Peace and Security Council in terms of establishing a linkage between early warning and early response to any crisis. I think the prevention. Uh, will have to, to be our first priority in the Peace and Security Department because this will help us prevent the eruption or the relapse of some crises that uh, really that are becoming a very big challenges for, uh, for our peace and security but also for our development and also for the image of the continent. The Peace and Security Department of the African Union Commission works towards achieving Africa's Agenda 2063's Aspiration 4, which envisions a peaceful and secure Africa. By working towards ending all wars, civil conflicts, gender-based violence, violent conflicts, and preventing genocide. We should not confuse conflicts with the issue of terrorism. If, if you talk about conflicts alone, in 2004, we had around 30 active conflicts in our continent. By 2009, because of the robust role of the Peace and Civil Council, those conflicts had been reduced to about nine. Today, 2020, we are talking about one country in which there is fighting. This is Libya. 30 in 2004, 9 in 2009, 2011, today one. And then we can question that uh, Africa is really making progress on selling the guns. We'll win. The Peace and Security Council of the African Union oversees the prevention, management, and resolution of conflicts, as well as matters on post-conflict reconstruction and development. The PSC underpins the African Peace and Security Architecture, which is the African Union's blueprint for the promotion of peace, security, and stability in Africa. The PSC is supported in its functions by the AU Commission, mainly through the Peace and Security Department, the Panel of the Wise, which consists of highly respected African personalities from various segments of society who have made outstanding contributions to the cause of peace, security, and development on the continent. 
the Continental Early Warning System, which anticipates and prevents conflicts on the continent by providing timely information about evolving violent conflicts. The African Standby Force, which observes and monitors situations in countries and intervenes to prevent conflict escalation as well as to support peacebuilding, disarmament, demobilization, and provide humanitarian assistance. The AU Peace Fund, which aims to provide the requisite financial resources for peace support missions and other operational activities related to peace and security. One of the major uh, focus of the Peace and Security Department is to intensify the functioning of the Continental Early Warning System in order to deliver more effectively and more speedily on issues of early warning and the early action. We have, we have provided early warning reports to the Commission and to the PSC, but we have had the challenge of uh, uh, the transformation of that early warning into election. So we want as much as possible to engage our member states, I mean those who will be facing looming crisis, to bring evidence to them that look, your country is going to face these challenges and we want to work together in a preventive way or if the conflict may arise, we must take robust measures to put an end to that conflict at an early stage before it uh, escalates. So we want to intensify the functioning of the continental early warning system in order to deliver better early warning and early response. But here, the decisive factor is the member states who must take the action, and that requires a lot of uh, political will. The African Union deploys several peacekeeping operations to support member states to maintain peace and stability within their borders. Key amongst these is the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM, which supports the federal institutions in Somalia in their efforts towards dialogue and reconciliation, facilitates humanitarian assistance, and creates conditions conducive for long-term stabilization, reconstruction, and development. The network of African women mediators, known as FemWise Africa, is a network of Africans who work to strengthen the role of women in conflict prevention and mediation. The network provides a platform for advocacy, capacity building, and networking aimed at enhancing the implementation of the commitments for women's inclusion in peacemaking in Africa. In a few decades' time, Africa will be the world's largest market with about 1.5 or 2 billion altogether. All people will be drinking and eating. That will be the largest market. So women and youth should be a major stakeholder in the process of silencing the, the guns. Related to this, we've just uh, operationalized last year the AU Mediation Support Unit, which is in the Peace and Department. This is going to be a pool of experts to advise our special envoys, our special uh, representatives, our high representatives, and also the department and the PSC on how we can really sharpen our preventive interventions, our engagement in preventive uh, diplomas. We have a program for the youth, Youth for Peace. We have a program for women, apart from the mainstream activity being led by our, by our AU Special Envoy on Women, Peace and Security, Madam Diop. We want women, particularly the young women, to be effective in conflict prevention, conflict management and resolution, which is peacemaking, as well as in post-conflict reconstruction and development. But more importantly, we want our women in Africa to become the leading entrepreneurs because when they do so, they are going to contribute more effectively to preventing wars and to, to creating all the conditions for Africa's development. The Peace Fund was established to provide the necessary financial resources for peace support missions and other operational activities related to peace and security. The Peace Fund 
is a manifestation of Africa's determination to manage its own affairs and provide African-led solutions for African issues, including financial independence and the ability to provide reliable and predictable funding for continental programs. The fund ensures that in relation to providing resources for peacekeeping activities, there is predictability, sustainability, transparency, flexibility, responsiveness, timeliness, effectiveness, and accountability. The Revitalize the Peace Fund it has an endowment of uh, over 145 million. That's unprecedented. Recall that the traditional AU Peace Fund which we have, which was established in 1993, the highest figure which it had in terms of financial endowment was about 7 million. It never went beyond. Now today we have a revitalized peace fund standing at, a, at over 145 million. That's a great achievement. And aligned to this is the fact that Africa has been very wise in how to enhance this money because as we speak here, the money has been invested in banks where it is generating interest. So the fund is going to grow both from member states' contributions, but from also the interest that it is making in the financial market. To deliver its mandate, the Peace and Security Department works with several key African institutions, including the Committee of Intelligence and Security Services of Africa, which promotes cooperation to effectively address security challenges confronting Africa. The African Center for the Study and Research on Terrorism, which works to build capacity to prevent and combat terrorism and violent extremism. And the African Union Mechanism for Police Cooperation, which promotes cooperation between African police forces. Find out more about Agenda 2063 and the work of the African Union in promoting peace and security by visiting www.au.int.